Hello everyone. India has been a major trading destination for many European countries in the ancient and medieval era. So today let us discuss something related to this in a lesson advent of Europeans to India. There were trade and commerce relationship between India and European countries through Constantinople. In 1453, Ottoman Turks occupied Constantinople and trade routes were closed. So Europeans discovered new sea route to India. The Europeans who arrived first to India were Portuguese. Vasco da Gama discovered new sea route to India. Dutch were the another set of people who arrived to India. Dutch established United East India Company in 1602. They established warehouses in Surat, Borach, Kambe, Cochin, Nagapatnam, Machalipatnam, Chimsur and other places in India. English and French people also arrived in India. Now let us discuss about Carnatic Wars. First Carnatic War took place in 1746 to 1748 between French and British. Anwaruddin Nawab of Carnatic helped British but failed to defeat French. Therefore, war ended with the Treaty of Europe between France and England. This treaty is also called as Treaty of Aix-la-Chapelle. Let us move on to Second Carnatic War which took place in 1749 to 1754 between French and English. Chandra Sahib was the nawab of Carnatic. He fought with the help of French. Robert Clive of East India Company attacked Arcot, capital city of Carnatic and defeated Chandra Sahib. This resulted in imprisonment of Chandra Sahib who was later killed. English named Muhammad Ali, the son of Anwaruddin, as the nawab of Carnatic. Second Carnatic War ended with the Treaty of Pondicherry. Now let us talk about Third Carnatic War which took place in 1756 to 1763. Comte de Lally of French attempted to besiege Vandivash in 1760. This was the major reserve for Third Carnatic War. The war resulted in the following things. Sir Eyre Coote of the English army defeated the French and imprisoned Bassi. Eyre Coote attacked Pondicherry and Lally had to surrender unconditionally in 1761. French had to lose all their bases in India. As per Treaty of Paris in 1763, Pondicherry was returned to French. Our next subtopic is Battle of Plassey, which took place in 1757 between Siraj ud Daula and the British. Misuse of Dastaks, mending of the fort without permission, Black Room tragedy were the following reasons for the battle. The battle resulted in the following things. First one, Mir Zafar became the Nawab of Bengal. Second, the company gained exclusive rights to do business in Bengal. Third one, Mir Zafar had to pay rupees 17 crore and 70 lakh as a war relief. In 1764 battle of baksar took place the reason behind it was 
Mir Qasim remained loyal to British. He declared himself as an independent king. After verifying the misuse of the stocks, he declared that the business is duty free in Bengal. As a result, the British trade suffered considerably. So, the British opposed Nawab. They dethroned Mir Qasim and declared Mir Zafar as the Nawab. So, Mir Qasim revolted against British along with the Mughal ruler Shah Alam II and Nawab of Awadh Siraj Uddawla. The war resulted the following things. Shah Alam II accorded Diwani rights over Bengal to the British. Shah Alam II gave away all the rights over the Bengal to the British for an annual fee of rupees 26 lakhs. Nawab of Awadh had to give away a fine of rupees 50 lakh for waging war. Company paid pension to Mir Zafar's son and took over the entire administration of Bengal. The Baksa battle made the British to gain political control over India to protect their business interest. So this was all about our today's lesson, Advent of Europeans to India. This lesson made us aware that the quest for wealth and power brought the Europeans to the Indian shores when Vasco da Gama, the Portuguese voyager, arrived in Calicut. They came to India for trading of various purposes and materials. Thank you students.